Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You know, you're joining us, we really are 100% genuine, packing right now to go to Comrades. And uh, yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking all about the kit that myself and Sarah, who's filming, say hello Sarah. Hi. She's filming this video. Um, so we're gonna have a quick run through, we'll put some time markers on the screen, like shoes, nutrition, kit, tech, and everything we're gonna be taking down with us to Durban. Um, yeah, in the next few days. So we've got loads of content coming up for you, all from the expo, we're going out on a course, Reke, Reke, Ricky, whatever it's called. Um, and yeah, obviously the race itself and all my thoughts and predictions. So I am so excited. This race has been a long time coming. We first entered this in 2020. We all know what happened, 2021, 2022, 2023. I've been training for this for like three years, but it's been in my mind for about the last eight years of dreaming to run the most famous ultra marathon, the biggest ultra marathon anywhere in the world, comrades. Yeah, 87K, 87.7K is gonna be an amazing year this year, a down year. But anyway, Sarah, what should we start with? What do you want to say a bit about like the elevation and the terrain of the race because we don't so yeah if you're not if you're new to comrades you don't know about comrades it is 100 percent on the road uh, surface so 87.7k we'll put the miles up on the screen miles. 54 miles and, then um, the, uh, and yeah sarah's so we've got about 1350 meters climbing up so it's a quarter down run this year because you start in peter maritzburg and you run down to durban and they alternate each year but there's still 1350 meters of climbing up and then about 2,000 metres drop from the start of the race as well. Now, a lot of that drop comes in the second half of the race. So you've got to really like hold yourself back because the quads are going to get one hell of a pounding in that second half of the race. Uh, yeah, and that's the big unknown. I've never run more than a marathon on the roads. Done plenty of 100Ks, 100 mile races, but they've been on trail. So this is a whole big unknown for me. And yeah, the nerves are rising quite a lot. You getting nervous, Sarah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's actually crazy. Yeah, it's going to be one hell of an adventure out there. But anyway, let's let's. Uh, this is going to be a super casual video. But anyway, let's start get with your clothes and stuff. Let's start with uh, some of the kit. So wait, let's do this in a proper order, right? Let's do hat from head to toe. <laughs> well, as you as some of you might know, Comrades is very famous for its hat. I'm pretty sure when you go to the register, you get given the Comrades hat this year. It's red. It's a big announcement. Sarah doesn't even know. This. I do actually. Oh, I okay. The race instructions. A Toyota hat. <laughs> I don't know where it's made, but know. obviously I run a hat, running hat company, so I'm going to be just wearing my matte black hat. Uh, backwards, of course, the oh, weather's looking... Black hat? The, the matte black... Not white. Not, oh, I don't even know what hat I've got on my head. I will have the matte black hat on. Sarah, what are you going for? A uh, white elite hat. The 2022 elite hat. Shorts. We're going to go... These no, are my trail running shorts. Next. To go head to oh, toe. I'm going to head to toe. <laughs> there, there is a saw singlet in here somewhere. You can see I really haven't put this together very well. So I'm going to be wearing my saw, saw, saw diamond pattern diamond. <laughs> this is going to be one take. <laughs> you can see what filming videos is really like with us. Uh, the lightning bolt uh, saw singlet. Uh, yeah, they've been selling really well so far. So then underneath that, I'll have some like nipple plasters. Um, because yeah, it's going to be a long, sweaty uh, race out there. Um, in terms of shorts, well, then I'm going to have just my usual underwear, underpants to stop them getting s soiled. Too much information what? here. What? Uh, we'll be taking some diarrhea relief. <laughs> Happens to everybody. I just get so nervous at the start line of races. And uh, yeah, this is a warts and all video. So uh, just, just one of those uh, before the start. What else have I got in there here for clothing wise? Socks. Yeah, socks, um, not those ones. Um, I've just stocked up on some new saw socks. Saw so getting a lot of plugs today. All of this video, all of everything in this video, we've 100% bought with our own money. There's nothing sponsored. And I'm probably gonna wear my saw trail shorts um, here just because I've got this lining that goes down your legs and it's just gonna stop any sort of chafing. I've got loads of extra pockets in the back as well. And then around my waist, I will be wearing my naked band. This, is, this naked band has done, this is what a naked band, it's done about 16,000 kilometers. It's still holding out pretty well, but they just came back in stock on Centurion, so I've stocked up with a freshie. Um, but you're I'm, gonna wear your old one, right? I don't know, I'm gonna keep this one going. It just smells, and it's just got a few holes in it now, and it's covered in cat hair. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a new one uh, gonna go out there. That's we everything for your clothes, I think, that I have written down. Next up Next up, is all your tech. 
tech. Well, I'm just going to go for Garmin FX on the wrist, which will last. Sarah's poor watch will not last the <laughs> oh, race. Oh, it might do. I'll wear my Enduro though, just to be sure. Yeah, she's going to go with that. I really want to get Sarah the new 965. We're just waiting for the prices to drop a bit, and then we'll maybe treat Sarah to a new watch. Oh, that's so nice. Um, in terms of filming, um, I've even got the GoPros down here. But uh, yeah, we'll just be using this, basically, the GoPro Hero, Hero 11, and then the external microphone and that just clips in there like that. And then that is it, I hold that in my hand. I'll put it in the naked bar when I'm not filming, but most of the race I will run with that in my hand. And a lot of people think, Joe, you just film the whole race. And no, I just like turn it on, turn it off. Film like this, film like this. It kind of works pretty well. I will take a couple of spare batteries with me just in case, and also a spare memory card because they have failed mid-race before. <laughs> um, so yeah, so one, lots of stuff to think about when you're filming. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. And then headphones. Yeah, I'm going to take some headphones, just my Aftershocks headphones, which I might put a bit of music on and some of the quieter bits, but the, the crowd noise and the expect, you know, just the atmosphere out there. I, I'm going there this year to experience the race. I don't want to listen to too much stuff. Do you think there'll be people along the course the whole way? Like crowds? Pretty much. Well, that's what I've heard. There's some sore socks. Pretty much, yeah. I think uh, it's not going to be like quite London Marathon all the way, but going through the bigger towns and things on the way, it's going to be a pretty amazing atmosphere. Well, I want to bring that to you guys. That's what I want to do. There's not much YouTube content from Comrade, so I really want to yeah. hopefully show everybody what it's quite, what it's like. Okay, next. Uh... Oh, pink gloves. Oh, you're not even on my list. <laughs> Which but is just it... a little bit of a comfort factor. It's going to be quite warm whether I have them or not. I have them on the start line anyway, because it's meant to be about six degrees at the start. Uh, why are you wearing gloves? <laughs> yeah, and then everybody in the comments can be like, why are you wearing gloves? My hands get cold. My hands get cold below about 12 or 13 degrees. Uh, right, what's next, Sarah? Nutrition. Nutrition. So, uh, yeah, basically, there's this company called Comsports, which me and Sarah have signed up with, and they will take, it's like they'll have three of their own personal private A sessions. It's about 35 pounds for that service. And then, so we can have a drop bag at three different points on the course. We can run in, join another private thing, grab. So I'm gonna have these in my drop bags, um, just some water bottles filled with sports drink. Uh, so probably just make up some Morton in those at three points along the course. Now, Sarah, how many, how many A stations are there? Like 42. Yeah, it's something absolutely like crazy. So there's more than enough aid out there. I just want to make sure I can get some Morton and then stock up my gels. I don't want to be running the whole race like with a load of gels to get through, you know, six, seven hours worth of running, eight hours potentially. So yeah, we're going to use these drop points on the course. In terms of gels, we'll be taking the Morton gels down with us and some of the high five ones as well. I've just been raiding my, and I've got some of the decathlon raspberry ones there. Um, yeah, be a mix of those. And then as I say, we'll have some sports drink at these aid stations as well. Uh, people have told, warned me about these water sachets they're gonna have. What does that mean? Oh, we'll I, I guess it's a sachet yeah. instead of a plastic bottle, but they sound a bit of a nightmare. We'll just deal with it when we get there. As I say, we're going to experience it. We're not going to try and win the race. Well, I'm never going to win the race. That's stupid. But like, we're just going to go and experience it and see what it's see what it's all like, and then hopefully come back next year or the year after, and then give that the absolute crazy good performance. Hopefully, right. That's nutrition, Sarah. Uh... In terms of breakfast, I, I've got no idea. We'll just try, hopefully grab some like bagels. We'll be staying in Peter Maritzburg before the race. We're staying in Durban for the whole trip. Before the race, we'll be in Peter Maritzburg. So whatever we can get from the hotel. Are we but, staying in the hotel? Or? Yeah, we're staying in the hotel the night before. Okay. And uh, so we'll just grab some stuff in Durban. Uh, yeah. We'll take up the road to Peter Maritzburg and we'll just be what it will be. Um, shoes. The all-important all shoes. Yeah. So well, let's, let's say what we're not running in. So uh, the options here were Alpha Flies, just not comfortable. And over, as I say, over the course of like six, seven, eight hours of running with nearly 400 grams on the end of each leg, it's going to get very, very tiring. So for me, with a massive size 12, that was a bit of a no, a bit white. Yeah, they're, they're okay for up to marathon distance for me, but I think any longer than that. Then some real other contenders, which I just haven't had time to test properly, was the Mizuno. Um, 
Wave Rebellion Pro. As if I know the name of that. You're going such a shoe geek, Sarah. The uh, new Rocket X. Um, I just haven't had time to put enough mileage in these in these yet, basically. Well, really, any well, mileage. Any. <laughs> yeah, I've just been spending so much time on the trails, getting my training, getting the elevation in. There's just not really like hilly road places you can run around here. So I've been spending all my time in like my Nike trail shoes, getting in elevation over the last few weeks. Um, the other actual contenders were, well, yeah, the uh, Saucony um, Pro uh, Elite. 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 Um, Sarah's been spending too much time editing videos. Um, yeah, again, just not comfortable. I had those plantar issues with this. Um, this one is pretty comfortable, but just not that fast. This is the Saucony um, Pro Three. 3. Um, I like it. I like it a lot, but yeah, just not that much. So all that really leaves is the shoe I ran London in, which is the Vaporfly 3. And that's what I'm going to be hopefully starting the race in. Now I have picked up a injury this week, so I should be racing. I'm pretty sure I'll be racing. I've been with a physio over the last few days and I've pretty much got the all clear to run um, in the race, but I won't be running. Well, I'll be running at park run. That'll be the next time I run. And we're filming this on Tuesday. So no running this week. I have to let this rest up. These are still absolutely filthy from the very wet London Marathon. I haven't worn them since, but basically they're very fast shoe. They're quite light. They're very, very comfortable. And that's the three things I want out of this race. Now, when I started training for this race in 2020, the first one, I was doing a lot of miles in the Carbon Xs, the Hoka Carbon Xs, and that was gonna be my Comrade shoe, probably. But te shoe technology has just moved on so much since then. So I was doing those early training runs, um, like sort of 20 miles at four minute Ks and things in that Carbon Xs. But yeah, you know, Hoka really, great shoe here now so that yeah we'll see i'm not going to take these with us we'll be running in the fake five three cool that's uh everything on my list right so, any other miscellaneous bits and pieces that we need to chat about uh, some headphones for the plane we take people always ask us about our bags we just carry everything these north face uh, bags and this one here i've got my chilled out rather scabby Ufus, that's so influenced are these things. Oh, you need some Crocs. <laughs> I did pay 50 pounds for those. Um, some Ufus, yeah, Sarah's got the Crocs. Um, yeah, I think that's it guys, in terms of kit and everything. We're super excited to see you guys out there as well. Sarah, what nutrition are you using? You haven't really said. Oh, uh, really just a mixture, the same as you, like some Morton, some High Five, just whatever I've got lying around. And are you carrying a water bottle? Yeah, because I'll have my pack. So I'll ha probably have one water bottle full at the start and then yeah. just fill up on the as I go, I guess. And Sarah's shoe dilemma, I'll chat about. <laughs> well, no, how many pairs of shoes have you bought? Oh, like too many, like maybe 10. Just different sizes, different brands. And how many have you sent back? Fits. 10 sent back. <laughs> so so Sarah's been testing out loads of different shoes, but you've settled on, we haven't even got it here. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, I don't know, oh, they were my bag already. Buying a pair off eBay from like five years ago. No, I'm going to wear my Vaporfly Oh, ones. you're going Vaporflies? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Your absolutely battered pair of Vaporfly ones. But that's the only thing that I've worn for a long distance. Like, and that's the thing with this type of, this sort of distance, you've just got to go with what the most comfortable shoe is. I mean, it's not the most comfortable, but I... It's, well, most comfortable and a bit far. It's the less, least risky option, I think. Yeah. But I just accepted that my feet are going to be trashed either way. And fun fact, Sarah has feet that are a different size. <laughs> yeah, my feet are a whole, uh, my right foot's a whole size bigger than my left, so it's just a nightmare finding shoes. And they're like annoyingly wide. Just freaky, ugly feet. <laughs> yeah, don't show those on camera. Right guys, we're going to love you and leave you. We have genuinely got to get this stuff packed and uh, head to the airport now. The next time you see us will be in Durban, going to the expo, showing you what that's all about, and also going out on the course recon, which, yeah, I'm just so excited about. I really, what, what's, what I'm more nervous about this race is doing it justice, paying respect to it. Like, I've got so much respect for anyone. I'm gonna get emotional for some reason. I don't know why. As <laughs> so always. stupid. As always, all the, like, you know, hundreds of thousands of people that have run this race before, and yeah, we're going there to experience it, and really hope we can bring that to you. It means a lot to me, as you can see, uh, for some reason, and I can't wait to, yeah, just bring it all to you and show you, show you the magic of it and experience it for the first time myself. 
and in years, uh, years in the future as well. So that's it guys, lots of love and me and Sarah will see you very, very soon in the next one. If you wanna know any Comrade stuff, what you wanna see in the future videos, we've got four, co four Comrade videos that we're trying to film this so we can get out. Let us know down in the comments. Let us know your thoughts and everything. Are we gonna see you there? We'll be at North Beach Park Run at eight, whenever it starts, eight o'clock I think in South Africa on Saturday morning. A little jog and meet a lot of you guys there. Right, very soon. Passport's ready to go. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.